Can we do something fun? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do a little meditation here. Not necessarily a meditation, but a, a thought. And um, a thought process. Because I think inner child work is so important. So inner child work has been one of the most healing things for me. Learning how to love you as little Karina, little James, and then reparenting for someone like myself and possibly for you, I'm learning how to reparent yourself so that you feel loved, you feel worthy. And um, I think one of the most important things, because I had a really rough relationship with my mother and you did with your family. So I'm just gonna come, gonna come up with this on a whim. Uh, let's close our eyes. Mm, all right. Okay. And let's breathe. And Ellen, and exhale it out. And as you're breathing and you're grounded right now, envision yourself as a little kid in a field. Green grass all around, blue sky. Yeah. And you're running through that field. A happy little kid. And now envision that you are running up to a woman. It's your mother at five years old. A five-year-old mom and you just run up and you give her the biggest hug ever and say I love you and you play together and you run around in that field innocent little children and then you look to her right and there's this little boy five years old and you run to him and he's carefree, having a beautiful time. And you wrap his, your arms around him. And that's your dad. And you say, I love you, dad. I love you. And then you all just run around being carefree kids. And say, I'm gonna take care of you you as in yourself and you have no clue what's coming ahead of you in this world as a five-year-old to a 40-year-old a 45-year-old be like i am just gonna remember this moment of no judgment of just love and having fun and then holding your parents arms around them circling around in the grass say bring it back to you say I'm going to take care of you and whatever happens in the future it's okay because I can always be that little kid running around and know that I deserve the love that I feel right now. Little James, five years old, deserves to feel that love. Little Karina deserves to feel that love. And then together now, let's say, I am loved. 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 Deep breath in. Exhale it out. And before you open your eyes, say, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. For you are loved. You are loved. Have no fear. Have no fear. I am here. I am here.
It's like a different day now. <laughs> Where did we wake up to? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bright and blue in that beautiful <laughs> field. <laughs> it's crazy because my dad was the nurturer and because he wasn't full time and I only saw him sometimes, he was there and it really made all the difference. And there was this picture that I see, my most fond picture, my brother with a low fro and I think like a Dallas Cowboys jersey and I had like a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey on. And my mom was this like, gorgeous like 22 year old. And it's one of the only pictures where she had that like glow smile. Mm -hmm. And that was her age in the, the field. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I mean, I think that inner child work and another thing when we're talking about inner child work, I've written letters to myself. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Letters to yourself as little girl. And you can become your own parent. And what I was saying was reparenting and writing like, what you would want to tell yourself at that age um, to make sure that you know when you're older in our present space that you're worthy. Yeah, wow. So you can become your own parent. Mm -hmm. And it's through the exercise you just took me through of going back to those moments. Yeah, it's um, reparentification and writing a letter to yourself and reading it. I think I have some of it in my book. I don't know, but yeah. it's just a process like, which I would love to talk about therapy next because yeah. I learned that practice through therapy mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, what is this? <laughs> mm. um, and one of the most important things is I, I think therapy is should needs to be normalized more. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am now without it. Um. Yeah. Do you think in terms of parents and reparentification, do you think a lot of root cause to anxiety and depression, which you know depression has a biochemical component as well, but anxiety at least, mm -hmm. do you think a lot of it is from parents? Well, okay. Let me talk about my, my generations ahead of me. Mm -hmm. My grandparents were um, in World War II. My father was in my grandma's belly in 1950 when they were fleeing uh, Germany and my grandpa almost got shot dead. And my grandma, like imagine that anxiety going into your child, right? Mm -hmm. Who's in, in your belly. In the body, yeah. yeah. And then they were able to escape. I mean, they lived in the woods and camped and like they just fled and finally got to Ellis Island in New York and were free, finally. And then ended up in Peru, Indiana, a really small little town. Mm -hmm. um, and my dad was born, but he held that. And my, my dad also was abused a bit, you know, from his parents because they, that's the generational it's just in our in their bodies, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so yeah, and then my dad has a lot of trauma just growing up in that family and not having a lot of money and um, so I don't know. I mean, it carries through the generations, but I think we're at a place now where we're so again, give it a name. Mm -hmm. We know what it is. We know how to heal it. We know how to have the practices to release it that I really think we're in a good place where we can turn things around. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, my mom, in describing her mom, my grandma, mm -hmm. said, oh, she had a nervous breakdown. Mm -hmm. That was the language back then. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. oh, so-and-so had a nervous breakdown, or so-and-so has bad nerves, is the language that I heard. Well, these days, I'm like, I'm not having a good day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm freaking out. I got bad I, nerves today. <laughs> today my nerves are bad. But that's the great thing. It's not like it's not a negative connotation of having a ner nervous breakdown. Like that makes someone seem I don't want to say the word, but exactly, crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Which is not fair because we all have emotions and we all have feelings and we should be able to express them. Correct. And be able to say I'm not okay today. Yeah. It's okay to not be okay. 